Science. Stuff about birds and dinosaurs. It's like a real-life dino adventure we're uncovering. Scientists have been piecing together the story of bird evolution, and it's a total mind-bender. So, get this birds and dinosaurs are actually long-lost relatives. The evidence from fossils, genes, and other clues all points to them sharing a common ancestry. Back in the 90s, they discovered feathered dinos, and that was a game-changer. It was like a treasure trove that showed how birds evolved from theropod dinosaurs. During the Jurassic period, around 165150 million years ago, the earliest bird known to science is called Archaeopteryx. It was like a dino bird hybrid. It had feathers, wings, and a wishbone, but it also kept some dino traits like teeth and a long tail. Talk about a mix and match. As time went on, birds went through some serious changes. They lost their teeth, developed a keeled breastbone for flight muscles, and shortened their tails. It was like a total makeover that let them conquer different parts of the world. And not just that, they lost their teeth, too. Mackin way for them to gobble up all sorts of goodies, from seeds to bugs and fruits. Fast forward to today, we got over 10,000 bird species chillin' on every continent. Except Antarctica, these feathered friends are the real MVPs of ecosystems. They help with pollination, seed spreading, and keeping those pesky bugs in check. Plus, they're the rock stars of the birdwatching world, showing off their sweet songs and vibrant feathers. But how did they learn to fly, you ask? Well, there are some wild theories out there. One says little dinos wanted to escape predators, so they took to the skies. Another thinks they did it to find new food sources and travel like jet setters. Now, here's the juicy part. Dinosaurs and birds Shireen, the same family tree, wasn't just a wild idea. It was actually first suggested way back in the 19th century by a dude named Thomas Henry Huxley. But the real evidence came in the 90s when they found those feathered dinos in China's Liaoning province. Talk about a breakthrough. These fossils were like pieces of a puzzle, showing us how dinos and birds are connected. Feathered dinos like Cynosauropteryx and Microraptor had feathers of all shapes and sizes. And get this, they had bird-like features too like special wrist bones and fused clavicles. It was like dino feathers meet in bird bones. But it was the legendary Archaeopteryx that stole the show. It was like the missing link, showing off a blend of dino and bird traits. This dino with feathers and teeth was the real deal. A key piece to understand in how birds evolved from their dino ancestors. Now, here's how the superhero transformation happened. Dinosaurs with feathered arms started gliding between trees just like those flying squirrels. But through natural selection and time, they leveled up their game. Stronger wing muscles, special bones, and lighter skeletons. It was like they were built for flight. And hold on to your lab coats, cause genetic research has been unlocking more secrets. By comparing DNA, they found shared genes between birds and reptiles, proving their family TIs. Scientists also studied specific genes responsible for feathers and bones. Showing how those scales turned into feathers and dinos became birds. So there you have it. A wild ride through the evolution of birds and dinosaurs. It's like a real-life dino saga, with clues hidden in fossils, genes, and the wonders of nature. And the adventure ain't over yet. Scientists are still uncovering more mysteries every day. It's like being on a science roller coaster, and we're hanging on tight for the ride of a lifetime.